What's up, everybody? This is Michael from Detail in the Shadow. Just want to talk about the next project that I'm going to be working on. I have dubbed this Project Sleeper Glock. Now, um, before I get into what a sleeper is, for those of you who don't know, let's do a quick safety check. Slide locked up. Okay. They're all empty. Empty chamber. Empty magazine. We're all empty, we're all clear, and we're all safe. All right, getting back to about uh, 2001, 2002, back in the early days of uh, early import car modifications, uh, there was a term called a sleeper, where basically a car would be heavily modified, but no bells and whistles that you could see. So everything was under the hood. It was all performance-based. So that's what I want to do with this. I don't really want anything. I don't really want any slide cuts. I don't really want any weapon lights. Uh, nothing wrong with any of those things. It's just what I want to do. The only thing that may be seen is I may replace this because I noticed at target practice yesterday, uh, this is not as easy to eject that magazine as it is on my uh, Smith & Wesson. So uh, I may address that. But uh, one of the first things I got is this... Apex Tactical Trigger Bar, as you can see, was very, very inexpensive. Um, inexpensive in the uh, terms of, you know, uh, firearms can get really expensive. And uh, go look for some spring kits. I want to keep the, I even want to keep the same trigger. I just want to upgrade the springs that um, attach to it. Um, because they don't, I don't know if they have a, flat face. But anyway, like I said, I want to keep it sleeper and just as long as the springs and the trigger pull is really nice, um, that's what I'm more concerned about. And I'm looking to replace this guide rod here. Now these sights are already really good. They're tritium night sights. I believe these must be an upgrade because this is a uh, police trade-in. So I believe they were upgraded from the factory. So basically, from this point on, I'm just going to get in some new springs. And if, um, if anybody has any suggestions to help out Project Sleeper Glock, uh, get it started. Um, go ahead and leave me a comment, and I'll see you on the next video.